Okay, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at how to measure a tool that is too large for the automatic touch off. So on these machines, specifically, we're talking about the Techno HDS, the Exitec R300 and R400, and I'm sure there are a lot of Exitec branded machines that this will work for. Uh, all of the ones that use the OSI controller specifically, this method should work. And I get this question a lot, so we thought I'd make a video. How do we measure a tool that's too large for the automatic tool touch off? Make sure that's on Z. And right now it's on a thousand or a hundred. So this will go pretty fast. And I can just turn the wheel and dial that down. And when I get close, I can change to medium speed. And I can come over here, and now I'm going to put that wing right over a black square. And as soon as I get resistance where I can't move the paper anymore, I know that I'm good and I'm sitting on top of that glass panel. At that point, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to simply turn this to the off position. That way, if I bump this, it has no effect and it won't drive that up or down into the table. Now I can come over here and go back to our screen. We're gonna click on tools. And right now we're going to click on the Z. Offset number is eight for tool eight. The position is zero because we're on the phenolic. We're gonna click okay. And that's it. Now we can go back to table editor. Tool length. And number eight is 4.846. Okay, we're gonna go through this one more time on a slightly different machine. This is the Techno HDS, but it has the same controller. And as you can see here, we've got our two and a half inch fly cutter, but it's too large for this automatic touch off probe. It's got a very small diameter, and if it came down on the center, it would not touch off on the wings it might uh, bump into that bracket. So we're gonna use the manual method, which just involves bringing this fly cutter manually with the manual pulse generator down onto the black phenolic tabletop, which is the machine Z0. Now I'm using a piece of paper here, not really to get a specific spacing, but just to help me visually identify when my fly cutter is touching the phenolic. As soon as that paper stops moving, I know that fly cutter is on top of the phenolic, right there. And now we can go to our screen. Now once in this screen, we're just gonna click on tools. Your screen may be a little bit different depending on the model machine you have and the features. But if we click on tools, we should see that tool offset preset. This is for manually setting up the tools. We're gonna to click on Z. We're gonna put in the tool number, which in this case is tool number eight. And we're gonna leave the tool tip position at zero because that's on the phenolic. We're gonna click OK and that should save that tool length in the controller. We can look that up in the table editor. And then if we go to tool length button, you can scroll down to the proper tool number. In our case, again, it's eight. And we can see that that is a correct tool measurement. Make sure that's within the range of other tools that you have on your machine. That'll give you an idea that it's correct. Also, we're looking here where our axis Z references, that's basically an offset from the zero of the phenolic to the top of my spoil board. So that shows me what that thickness should be. I also have the ability to edit this bump increment, another question that I get often. And to do that, we just go up to the top here. And we click on edit increment under options tab and we can change that. Right now it's at 25 thousandths. So every time you bump up or down, it'll change that value by 25 thousandths. So by doing this, if I go down one, I can go ahead and run my table milling program. 
and now I'll have a new Z0 for my machine and I'm ready to program um, all of my parts. Another tip is you can look at your table editor tool length for tool eight, your fly cutter, before and after you've measured it and you can see the difference in the tool. I hope this quick video helps. Thanks for watching.